These kids these days, they don't know. And people my generation and older, y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. I'm calling all of y'all out. I know people that from when I was young, y'all damn, y'all had Section 8, y'all had housing, y'all had all that stuff. And y'all still on it. Let these kids get a chance. Why y'all not letting these kids get a chance? That shit was temporarily. Not permanently. What are y'all doing? Y'all supposed to be getting temporary assistance and y'all sitting there comfortable. Like, y'all really not budging. Y'all really not budging. Y'all not letting these kids get a chance to get any kind of low rental assistance. Y'all ain't got y'all shit together now? Y'all literally got grandkids. And y'all still ain't got your shit together? That's the only thing y'all leaving them? Is a fucking a government damn apartment? Come on, y'all gotta do better than that. Let these kids get a chance, man. Let these kids get a chance. Y'all done had Section 8 so damn long, they don't even make those damn vouchers no more. They done changed the programs 19 times already. Y'all is crazy. Don't get me wrong, I had Section 8 too. You heard the word, the opposite word was two. Two. I've been cut my shit off. It was hard as hell to get off, too. They was like, no, you can't get off. The kind of voucher you have, you can't do that. Is anybody threatening you? No. I don't need it. I make way more than enough. My husband makes way more than enough. No, I don't need it. But we need this in writing. We have to have a meeting. We, I did all of that. They was not trying to hear it. To keep it a buck, word to my grandmother, word to anything. I abandoned my Section 8. My real people know I did because everybody was tight like, yo, why you didn't tell me? Look, I said it twice. Anybody want a sublease? Nobody. Oh, that's too far, blah. Oh, well, as soon as you, I'm not going to be holding on to something. You know what I mean? I don't need it. I don't need it. And y'all literally just sitting there just milking it. I wish they would sit there and be like, yo, if you had any kind of housing assistance more than 10 years, they'd cut all y'all asses off. Cut it off and let these kids start getting a chance, man. These kids don't know anything, and y'all allowed them not to know anything. These kids don't know a struggle moment for nothing. Because y'all didn't allow them. They don't know. Granted, they're not supposed to be all up in adult businesses and stuff like that, but come on. Let these kids get some kind of housing assistance. How the hell they sitting there trying to pay rent? They rent more than my damn mortgage. They got a little studio apartment paying $1,500, $2,000, $3,000. It's not just... The East Coast, it's everywhere. Rent is high everywhere. Everywhere. And if your rent not high, your damn cost of living is high. So you sitting there with a quote-unquote good place to rent, but you sitting there with $500 worth of food that's fitting on your passenger side seat. It's, it's, not, it's not matching. It's not leveling. You know what I mean? The scales, the scales is uneven. Let these babies get a chance. Let these babies get a chance because it is hard. And these kids, they're not married. Then even if they was, they still couldn't do shit because they fucked up. Y'all done fucked up their damn credit. So they still can't do anything. And they done up the, the legal age limit for when you're responsible for them. 25, legally. Imani trying to go back to damn school. Because COVID messed up her stuff. You know, obviously all the kids had to stop going to college. They need me and her dad damn paperwork. Why? Y'all get our damn paperwork. She ain't going to get no financial help. What the hell that got to do with me? For all that, we might as well just fucking pay it. And I ain't got it right now. Before COVID, we had it. I don't have it right now. But come on, y'all got to let these babies get a chance, man. And stop trying to be acting like... Y'all do have everything all the time and stuff because it's not. You don't. Stop. Y'all front for the gram. Y'all front, front for Facebook. Your shit ain't peaches and cream every goddamn day. Everybody's having a struggle moment. It might not be today. It might have been last week or maybe next week. But stop acting like you didn't. Everybody that was way, way up, y'all motherfuckers hit down just like I did. The only thing is that we were blessed to not become homeless or something like that. But unfortunately, other people lost their shit. They lost it, and it's not funny, and it's not fair. And from homeowners, there's no help. You can't run down to the damn welfare office or whatever the hell and get a one-shot deal. You can't do that. Y'all motherfuckers done had seven one-shot deals.
Homeowners can't do that. You got to be legitimately in foreclosure. For them to even sit there and be like, okay, well, here's an application maybe for us to even look at your name. Once you get into that homeowner life, it's a, it's a different ball game. I'm telling you, it's hard. But it's a safe place to be, though. You know what I mean? But not everybody want to do that. If you want to rent, that's fine. Ah, shit. Sometimes I wish I was running too, because then somebody would have fixed my damn ceiling. I would have had a landlord. You get what I'm saying? Fix my ceiling. I ain't got to sit there and be trying to fix the shit myself. And then remember, I have homeowner insurance, and then maybe they could do it, because what the hell I'm paying for? And blah, blah, blah. It's just so much shit. My, my stove was broken. I had to go buy a whole nother stove. You know what I mean? It's like different things I wish I did rent. But I love my privacy. I love my peace. I love not being bothered. But let these babies get a living chance to have their own. Let them have some fun. Let them fuck up. But in their own shit. Right, baby? I know. Yeah. Even baby said it. Baby said, get off those damn run to damn assistant programs and let these young kids get a chance. Y'all are crazy and y'all milking it and y'all know y'all dead ass wrong. There's no reason why any people that I grew up with, parents who had damn housing, NYCHA, Section 8, ERP, all those shits, and y'all still got it now. It don't make no fucking sense. Because we all damn near 50 or over 50. It don't make no sense why y'all still got that shit. I'll start a petition. I'll be petty as fuck. I'll start a petition to start getting you and all your damn beige color walls the fuck up out of there and let these damn babies get a chance. Y'all are crazy and evil. This damn video went on too long because I started out with one damn anger thing, but now I'm getting mad about something else. But anything else? Put it in the comments. I was just doing a rant because obviously that was way too much to write. But, yeah. Just be mindful and have a nice talk with your kids about your goals that you're trying to do just in case your ass don't wake up tomorrow and what they're going to do because their plans may not be your plan. Seriously. That would be fucked up. Like, you spent a decade, two, three, whatever, your life Trying to make sure, you know, your kids won't have a struggle moment. And they just sit there and just throw all your hard work away for a dollar. So, yeah, better talk to your kids. Don't just necessarily assume. Peace out. <laughs> Later, guys.